give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the worship. Thank you for all you have done. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. And I want you to begin to thank God for your children. Thank God that the Lord has kept them. They go out, there are sometimes they are outside your your security, but the Lord protects them. And that is why the Bible says that even when Moses asked them after the war, he said, count the people around you. And the Bible says that none was missing. I want to believe that all of us are enjoying the mercy, the goodness of God over our children. And I want Mm -hmm. you to thank the Lord for keeping them from January and bringing them to this November. That the Lord, it is the Lord that keepeth Israel. The Bible says he do not sleep nor slumber. I want you to lift your voice and say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We appreciate you. Appreciate you for over our family. We thank you for our children. When they go out, he brings them back. Lord, oh God, we thank you. Father, it is not because we are more righteous than others. Lord, you save them from abuse. You save them. Oh Lord, you save them, oh God, from every racism. You save them from every, every evil. Lord, oh God, we thank you for you have saved them. Mali, Seke, Libra, Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the worship. We give you adoration. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. And I want to give God thanks for yourself. Brethren, I want you to understand for being a parent or being a caregiver over these children demands demands patience. Mm. And the Lord has given it to you that you are able to take care of them. You are able to direct them. And I want you to understand, even if you are looking for for the fruit of the womb, it's still your time. You can still pray for your children because God is able to give it to you. And I want you to thank the Lord that the Lord has been able to give you these children. Mm -hmm. I appreciate God for the children God has given to you. If you don't have one, just thank God with no, faith that God is, has given it to Amen. you. And I want you to say, Lord, thank you for the children you. you have given unto us. Lord, thank God, thank God, thank because we can thank see you. extra thank in you. them. We can see the border in you. them. Lord, yes, thank you God. that they God. are God. able Jesus. to love you. Thank you for oh, where God. you are thank taking you them. Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the worship. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. And finally, I want you to thank the Lord that the Lord has given you the grace to pray this evening. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord for the garment of prayer, the garment to travel for your children. There are people because you know that most people, every successful person will always say that it was the praying mother or praying father that better them. Yeah. And that is, we are standing in a gap. I want you to say it, right, that right, it is a privilege. Right. Thank, thank God for, you, thank God that you are standing oh, in the prayer Lord. tonight. Tonight, tonight, the garment of prayer. Thank yes, God for Lord. the garment yes. of prayer. For you to stand right, 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 in a gap to travel right, right, over these children. Thank yes. God, thank yes. God, because yes. it is a seed yes. that we are planting yes. tonight yes. for their future. Yes. Lord, we yes. thank you. We thank you. Yes. We are privileged, yes. we are privileged yes. to pray. Yes. We are privileged yes. to travel yes. in the place of prayer. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Father, we thank you for tonight, for what you're about to do. Thank you for being our help since January till this time. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our families. Thank you for all you've done. Being our shield, our confidence, being our pillar, being our voice, being God, our hope. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. We can't thank you enough for all you have done. Lord, we thank you for more of what you are going to do tonight. Thank you for the seed we are going to be sowing in the life of these children tonight. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for putting on us the garment to pray. Thank you for putting in us the joy and the privilege to come before your presence. Lord, we appreciate you. For in all things, receive our praise, our worship, for what you're about to do tonight. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to um, Salt and Lights Club. Um, This is a club within the Redeemed Christian Church of God where our focus is to pray, um, intercede for our children, and we do this monthly, every um, just one hour every month. 
um, from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., just standing in the gap for our children. There's so much going on, and as parents, we need to be there to stand in the gap, not only just mothers, but also coming together as mothers and fathers and, and grandmothers or, or grandparents or aunties and just standing in the gap for our children. And that's what we do, what, what we've been doing, and what we do every 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 first Saturday of the month. This is the last one prayer meeting that we are having for the month of um, for the year 2021. Um, we will meet again from January right up until November. So that's how we've been we're, we're doing it. And we thank God for the grace to intercede this all all throughout this year. And we know that our prayers will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I just want to encourage you, if you know any any mother, any any father, um, any auntie, any uncle, any caregiver, to so just take this few minutes to just invite someone and share the link and invite someone to just come and stand in the gap. You don't know what this prayer that you pray today will do for, for, for that child. Um, Today, we're so privileged to have with us a wonderful woman of God, a woman that I honor and celebrate her gifts. Um, she, I mean, I, I, I don't even want to start talking too much. Um, you just go out and look for thy precious jewel and you will see the mighty things that she's doing that God is using her to do in our generation and helping mothers and wives, um, you know, to be all that Ooh, God wants them to be. So please, um, what did you call it? I want us to just make welcome our dear mother, a woman that is so humble. I mean, I don't even know what she, you know, she gave me that privilege to just picking up my, my call. <laughs> And we've never met before, but I just want to appreciate you, Ma. Thank you so much for your humility. And thank you for what you're doing in, in the kingdom of God um, in this season. God bless you, Ma. Um, let everybody, let's make welcome Dr. Omobola Jeffries. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome, Ma. Welcome, Ma. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. And um, thank you for the honor of um, joining your prayer session this evening. I believe I've got about an hour to lead us to pray. Yes. And um, when I was asking the Lord what he wanted me to dwell upon this evening, he gave me a word. Mm -hmm. He said I should lead you to pray regarding the peace of your children. Amen. We're praying for a glorious future. Mm. But you see, no child will get anywhere reasonable in life if they don't have peace as mm. children. Mm. Mm. You cannot travel. Can you imagine planting, planting a, a fruit? You plant it in the ground and you keep uprooting that plant mm. every three months. You uproot it and plant it somewhere else. Mm. Every time that, that tree is planted again, it mm. starts again. So mm. there is no glorious future mm. without a proper planting. Mm. And there is no proper planting except there is peace. Mm. I'm not going to pray. You have been praying. That's but right. the Lord wants me to lead you to pray for peace on your children's journey through life. Amen. Peace on their journey through life. We all are familiar with Exodus. So I'm going to read Exodus chapter 1, verse 11 to 14. Mm. The Bible says, so, this is New Living Translation. The Bible says, so, the Egyptians made the Israelites their slaves. Mm. They appointed brutal slave drivers over them, hoping to wear them down with crushing labor. Mm. They forced them to build the cities of Pithom and Ramesses as supply centers for the king. But the more the Egyptians oppressed them, the more the Israelites multiplied and spread, and the more alarmed the Egyptians became. So the Egyptians walked till the people of Israel, they walked the people of Israel without mercy. Mm -hmm. They made their lives bitter, forcing them to mix mortar and make bricks and do all the work in the field. They were ruthless in their demand. Mm -hmm. Men and brethren listening to me, 
if you are involved in your children's education, some of you by now may have realized the fact that your children have to meet targets that are slightly different from that of their colleagues, mm -hmm. from that of the same children they are in their class with. They have to work extra hard to prove that they are good. Mm -hmm. They have to do more to convince the general public that in spite of the color of their skin, mm -hmm. in spite of what they've been through in life, that they can be somebody great. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just talking about people who are from African origin. I'm talking about general families. The mm -hmm. world is asking for more. The world is asking you to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. And that was what the Israelites were doing. They were laboring. The Bible says the Egyptians were ruthless in their demand. Mm -hmm. A child needs peace to be able to confront and thrive in this world. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that the Bible told us the story of what was happening. But you know what? Let's take, for instance, a child in that generation. His name was Moses. Mm -hmm. Before this boy was born at all, he had a death sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had a death before he was born. Before he was born, he had a death sentence. Some of our children, they've done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. The only thing they've done wrong is that they were born at all. Mm -hmm. That they were even born in the country where they were born. Some of the challenges I had to face in my life, I had to face it because of the country I was born. Yes. Hey, mm -hmm. it, it was there. Look, it was just there on my birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Some of these children are going through difficulties and they look, they don't understand. I don't know how many of you, the, your children came home and say, mom, why is it that they don't like me? It was on his birth certificate. It was on his skin color. It was on his mother tongue. It mm. was there before he was born. Mm. But you, you know what? Moses, even though he had the same birth certificate as them, he was going to be a different child. He was going to be the first of his kind. He was going to be the first descendant of a slave that would not live like a slave. Mm. Mm. That's right. Because he had a mother whose head was correct. That's because he had a mother whose mm. head was correct. I'm glad there are men joining this prayer tonight. Mm -hmm. Before we start to pray, let me pause and address the men who are listening to me tonight. Mm. Did you ever hear anything that Moses' father did? Do you know who gave birth to Moses? Did you hear the role he played in the life of this boy? Mm -hmm. The only thing we found out was that somebody impregnated that woman and she gave, she gave birth to Moses. Mm -hmm. All the fact that he was struggling, she was struggling for her son to be alive. Who was the one that made the Moses basket? Who took him to the river? Who mm -hmm. was there by the river? We did not hear anything about the father. Mm. If you are listening to me tonight and you're a single mother, just imagine that a toilet has flushed that man away and stand in the gap for your children's you know, destiny tonight. But if you are here as a man and you're listening to me, you will open your mouth and you will pray. Amen. Women, pray for yourself. The yes, word of God says uh, that Moses was birthed and his mother kept him for three months. Mm. There was somebody watching over that destiny. You mm. would decree tonight and say, Father, the doors to my children's destiny will never be left unmonitored for Amen. my children to have peace. Uh, for my children to have peace. Uh, mm. I decree tonight uh, the door to my children's mm. destiny will never be left unmonitored. In the name of Jesus, when the Father is available, of Father is not available. I decree tonight uh, the door to my son's destiny. You will never be left on monitor. The door to my daughter's destiny. You will never be left on monitor. In the name of Jesus, this is my proclamation tonight. Every destiny needs a watchman. Every destiny needs a watchwoman. Every destiny needs somebody taking taking charge and monitoring what is happening. Moses' destiny was left. We did not hear of her peace, Father. I decree tonight in the name of Jesus. Regarding you, my children, I will not leave your destiny to monitor. I will not leave your destinies alone. I will not abandon my time of supervision. I will not abandon watching over you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Some of us, the people, the people who need to monitor the destiny of our children, they're not even the parents. 
Mm -hmm. Is it the father that had left since when the child was age zero? Is that the person who will monitor? You will say, Father, I am asking tonight, uh, mm -hmm. but adventure have not done my job. Father, begin to activate uh, destiny monitors who will lead my children, who will take them by the hand uh, and lead them to the future. Mm -hmm. That you are glad that mm -hmm. the thing for this meeting mm -hmm. is a glorious future. Mm -hmm. I am the that my son mm has -hmm. mm -hmm. you over to mm -hmm. the city of destiny. Who will seek you? Who will watch over? you who will help you in the name of jesus my doctor i have you over to monitor of your destiny who will defend you who will support you in the name of jesus we have prayed many in jesus name we have prayed many of our children have declarations that have been made about them before they were born Mm -hmm. The same thing that happened to Moses. Moses had the death sentence. Mm -hmm. It was clear he was supposed to die. Why? Because his great great grandfathers were doing well. <laughs> hey, that is the reason why somebody, when somebody gives birth to a child and they put their picture on social media, I just look at them. I ask myself, does this person know the destiny of this child? Mm. You just think it's everybody you can put on social media. A child, you have not, you have not found out where they are going. Mm -hmm. You have not, you have not cooked them. In mm. the word of God and in prayer, mm. you are celebrating their birth, putting their face on social media. Mm. People who are looking for destinies to waste, they mm. find your child a ready candidate. They just waste them. Mm. The child that was supposed to be great, they will end up serving great people. My dear sisters and brothers, you will declare tonight and say, Father, every declaration of opposition that has been declared on my seat, every declaration of opposition that has been made on the seat of my womb, whatever the origin of this declaration, in the name of Jesus, whatever the source, I cancel them tonight. In the name of Jesus, every declaration of opposition that has been raised against my children, every declaration of opposition that is raised against the children of my womb, in the name of Jesus tonight, I cancel them. In the name of Jesus tonight, I cancel them. In the name of Jesus tonight, I cancel them. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. My sisters, before your children were born, segregation was made already. Segregation was made. Do you not know? There are children, they have look, there is selection process. Mm. This one will be okay. This mm. one will not be okay. Mm. That, that's the reason why from primary school, some children are just struggling. You'll be like, God, why now? Segregation has been made. They've declared if it's a child, if it's a male child, he will be dead. If it is a female child, he will she will survive. Segregation has been made. You would decree and say, Father, every segregation that has been made in against my children to put them in a position of disadvantage before birth, after birth, which has taken away their peaceful sojourn and replaced it with difficulty. In the name of Jesus, I reverse such tonight. I reverse such tonight. I reverse such tonight. In the name of Jesus, every segregation that has been made against my children that has been Blessed, they are peaceful passenger with difficulty in the name of Jesus. Tonight I reverse, tonight I reverse, tonight I reverse, tonight I reverse in the name of Jesus. Every allocation that has made my children, they are trying to be difficult, they are sweating and laboring when others are having ease in the name of Jesus. Tonight I reverse them in Jesus' name. We have prayed, amen. For every kingdom, there is a king that reigns. And that king has been bestowed the opportunity and the authority to make rules and declaration. A king made a rule that people will be allowed into the UK. Another king made a rule and said, we do not want people from this origin to come into the UK. Every king that reigns, bring their own rule. You will decree tonight. When the time is set, whether your child is meant to live in China or they are meant to live in America, mm -hmm. every king that will rule, their decisions will be in line with the destiny of my children. Amen. 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 <laughs> Do you get it? Yes. Every king that will rule, mm -hmm. 
Their decisions, uh, their injunctions uh, will be in line with the destinies of our children. Amen. Open your mouth now and declare. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I speak tonight regarding my son, regarding my daughter, everything that will do. Is it country where you are? Is it country where you are going? They will make laws. Uh, they will make laws uh, that will fall in line uh, with your plan. Uh, they will make laws uh, that will fall in line uh, with the purpose of God for you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, every king has authority to make rules in junction regarding their land. I speak tonight in the name of Jesus. Every king that will rule, every king that will rule, every king that will rule, king that will rule in the name of Jesus, where my son will spend his future, where my daughter will spend her future, your rules and your regulations will be in line with my children's destiny. Your rules will not bring my children's difficulty. Your rules will not bring my children's discomfort. In the name Oh, Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Hey, God, hey, we're talking about a glorious future. Mm. If your child will have a glorious future, they must have help us put at specific places, mm. junctions in their lives. Mm. I am one person who has experienced favor. I remember one time I traveled to Nigeria to go and hold one of my conferences. And you know what? Whilst I was messing about, trying to do this, do that, all these strange, right things that you know women do. I have to collect this one. I have to collect that one. <laughs> I got to the airport. And they, in fact, on my way to the airport, Ikeja, rain started, heavy rain. And do you know what? I was delayed in traffic. Once I was approaching the airport, my flight, I saw my flight take off. Mm -hmm. But do you know what? When my, This was Friday evening. And my meeting was in Abuja on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And there was only one flight remaining to leave Lagos that night to go to Abuja. Mm -hmm. And when I got to the, to the check-in, and they said to me, Madam, your flight has left. There is only one more flight remaining and it is overbooked. We do not have space. I said to the woman, I said, you don't understand me. Whatever happens, I have to get on the last flight to Abuja. Once I was talking, hmm. a woman looked at me. I saw her. She said, Madam, can I have your passport? Hmm. I looked at her. The normal me would be like, who are you going to say? <laughs> who are you asking for my passport? The woman said, excuse me, madam, can hmm. I have your passport? Hmm. I gently brought my passport and gave it to this woman. Hmm. She flipped the pages open. She looked and she said, oh, B." <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, my B. Now I get it. It was because of you I came to work today. I was not meant to be at work. This lady went, look, I did not know she was a supervisor or whatever she was. The minute she got my passport, she said, this woman must get on that flight. Everybody was running. They took my luggage. They took my, they were running, they were running. I got on the flight. It was when I landed in Abuja. I was starting to think, what was that? Mm -hmm. All I remember was she said, you were chatting with me last night. My name is Christiana. You told me when I come back from Nigeria, I will give attention to what you are asking me. This woman was working for that airline. She mm -hmm. said, Omobi, I was not meant to be at work. I just knew I had to be here today. But mm -hmm. she did not know I was getting on the, a flight mm -hmm. from my airline. God needs to position people at yeah. specific places in your children's yeah. destiny. Yes, you will pray today. Yeah. You will say, Father, specifically, align yeah. my children, align yeah. my children, yeah. and yeah. custodians yeah. and yeah. guardians yeah. who yeah. must yeah. guard their destiny yeah. and yeah. guard their yeah. passage. Yeah. In the name of yeah. Jesus, yeah. align yeah. my children. Lord, yeah. align yeah. my children yeah. with custodians yeah. of destiny, yeah. with custodians yeah. of yeah. destiny yeah. who will yeah. help my children. Who will support my children? Who will be for my children? Who will guide my children? You have done this for me, Lord, several times before. You have put people in specific places in my life, Lord. You can do it for my children. Please, my son. I am asking tonight, you will put people in specific places to help my son at every stage in life. When he needs help, when he needs direction, in the name of Jesus, regarding my daughter. You will put people in specific places to guide and support her. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.
You know what they said? That the flight was full. I'm sure they were not telling a lie. But you know what? <laughs> Christiana did not count anything important. Mm. All she had to do was take me to where I needed to be. Mm. You remember what happened to those midwives? The Bible says in Exodus 1.17, go and read it in your Bible. Exodus 1.17, New Living Translation says, but because the midwives feared God, mm. they refused to obey the king's orders. Mm. Mm. They feared God. The only mm. reason, not because the king was nice, not mm. because somebody, look, uh -uh, who was Moses' mother now? Moses' mother was just a normal Hebrew woman, a woman mm. that's a slave, a slave. A slave. Mm. The Bible says a slave was given birth, but the midwife disrespected the instruction of the king. Mm. That's right. Did it sink in? Mm. Did it sink in? Yes. A slave, a slave's life was mm. made more important than mm. the instruction of a king. Mm. You are going to pray and say, Father, those whom you have chosen to safeguard my children's future, they will fear God more than they fear any man. Amen. You have selected to safeguard my children's future, they will fear you more than they will fear any man. They will watch over my children's destiny at all costs. In the name of Jesus, I declare tonight regarding my children, I declare tonight regarding my children, those whom God has selected, those whom God has chosen to help others. You. They will fear God and honor your destiny more than they will honor anything in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> See, the, our children, if somebody must help them, they must be helpable. Mm -hmm. Some people are not helpable. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. They are not helpable. Yes, ma'am. See, when I arrived at that airport and the lady said, Madam, can I see your passport? Can I have your passport? Hmm. Some people will say, who, who are you anyway? Hmm. You are talking to me. Do you know who I am? Hmm. I, if I responded that way towards that woman, hmm. I would not have been helpable that night. Oh, yes. There was nothing in her power to do that she would have been able to do for me. Hmm. Why? Because I had put myself in a position where I could not be helped. Mm. Some of our children, by their attitude, they put themselves in a position where they cannot be helped. Mm. Let me share with you an experience I had. Those of you who joined me on mom's altar, you will remember this story. Mm. It happened on my way from Nigeria. I was returning from Nigeria to the United Kingdom. We left, we took off from Lagos. And as soon as, you know, they said, oh, switch, uh, seatbelt lights could be taken, uh, was, was turned off. There was this young boy. It was an August, September journey. Because I remember I was looking at the people on that flight and I was saying, this one is going to uni. This one is going to uni. They were all very young and they looked innocent. And as soon as we were free to take our seatbelts off, this boy reclined his seat. Hmm. Is that not what you're supposed to do when you're going on a long flight? Hmm. He reclined his seat. The woman who sat behind him hmm. spread her hand from her seat and hit this boy's <laughs> head <laughs> and told him, pull your seat up. I was watching the drama. Hmm. Pull your seat up. And the boy said, oh, oh, that was what he said. He said, oh, as in, what did I do? <laughs> and then the people who were sitting beside him started telling him, pull your seat up, Joe. This boy had a right to pull his, to recline his seat. Mm -hmm. He paid for that seat. The mm -hmm. same way this woman paid for the seat. The mm -hmm. woman did not beg that, mm -hmm. please, uh, what you, your recline seat is causing me discomfort. No, <laughs> she stretched for the hand to knock this boy's head. And then the part that got me was that she started to curse. Oh. Ah. She started to curse. My dear sisters, it was at that point I spoke. Mm. As she cursed, I reversed. As mm. she cursed, I reversed. Mm. As look, it was it was a plain fight. It was a plain mm. battle. I started to reverse every word she uttered. Mm. And I was, and you know, as I was making those declarations, I was mm. saying it, I said, ah, where is the mother of this boy? Mm. Where is the mother of this boy? Where is the mother of this boy? Wherever you are, woman, wake up. Mm. 
my dear sisters and brothers, there are people who are not help people. That boy was help people. Mm. Mm. And I said to my husband, I said, that woman, that, that boy, I'm sure his mother is a mm. praying woman. Otherwise, mm. I did not have any business sitting near mm. him. Mm. I didn't have it. There are some children that are not help people. Mm. You will decree to that. You will say, my children, and I receive for you help. When everybody will be feeling, I receive for you help. I receive for you help. I receive for you help. You will be helpable. It will be easy for people to help you. It will be easy for people to support you. It will be easy for people to assist you. It will be easy for people to for people to deliver you, my children, in the name of Jesus, I decree tonight that you are within my reach, or outside my reach. It shall be easy for people to help you, for people to support you, for people to defend you, for people to protect you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Still talking about children that are helpable. Exodus chapter 1 verse 19. Look at the first part of that scripture. Exodus chapter 1 verse 19. The Bible says, the Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. Mm. The Hebrew women were helpable. Why? Mm. Because before you get to them, before the killer gets there, they've given birth. Mm-hmm. Before the killer gets there, they've given birth. Before the killer gets there, they've given birth. There are people who are helpable. There are people who are not helpable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you if you if your boss is always arriving when the random shooter is ready to fire, you cannot be helped. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure that your path is arranged in a way that you don't even fall a victim. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you what happened. Only recently, I went to northern parts of Nigeria to go and host a, hold a meeting. A meeting that the Lord instructed me to hold for, is it six years? And I've been going every year. The Lord gave two words to me before I set out from the United Kingdom. I went on that train, that same train, on a Tuesday and a Thursday. The very next Thursday, there was an explosion on that train and the service has ended. Mm -hmm. The same train I sat Mm -hmm. that took me there. Mm -hmm. The same train, the same train was Mm -hmm. was blown up twice within Mm -hmm. 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Some people are helpable. Mm -hmm. Some people who traveled on that train slept in the bush overnight. Mm -hmm. Some people are helpable. Mm -hmm. Some people are helpable. You're Mm -hmm. gonna pray tonight and say, Father, before Mm -hmm. the destroyer comes up, my children would have escaped. Before the destroyer comes up, my children would have gone. Before the law comes up, my children would have escaped. Before the injunction comes up, my children would have escaped. My children would be helpable. The word of God says that before the midwife got there, the Bible says that. Hebrew women have delivered. Hebrew women have delivered. Hebrew women have delivered. That means they were helpable. Any children tonight, my daughter needs to be helpable. My son needs to be helpable. This is my declaration tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We're still going to pray. The Bible says the Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. Mm. The midwives replied. They are more vigorous and they have their babies so quickly we cannot get there in time. Mm-hmm. Those who want to destroy and wait, waste, but they will have an excuse. And mm-hmm. that excuse will be that by the time we got there, she has left. Amen. 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 It says, by the, we could not get there in time. You will say, Father, I receive for my children supernatural speed of passage, which will encourage those who are sent to assist them. I receive for my son supernatural speed that will encourage those who are sent to assist him. Supernatural speed that will encourage those who are sent to assist my daughter. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 See, there was some there were some things that the midwife said. It says they are more vigorous. Mm. They have their babies quickly. Mm. And we are delayed. We are slow. Mm. Three factors there. Mm. The first factor is that the Hebrew women are strong. The second factor is that babies come out quickly. There is a mother factor and there is a baby factor that gave them the advantage. Two things. The advantage 
mother factor, baby factor. Mm -hmm. Number three, slow speed of the midwives. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. For your child to come first, mm -hmm. the child behind them must be delayed somehow. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that is the law in life. Yes, ma'am. That is the somebody has to carry first. Yes, Unfortunately, if somebody is contending with my child, they need to be slowed down a little bit. It's, it's simple. Well, because there's some things you are not sentimental about. I pray for the children in my children's class, but you see, I pray for them, but I pray that they are traveling okay, but they are okay is never equal to and up to that of my child. You see, it's, right. it's, 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 a, no, it's not a shitty somebody. It is how it is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Because that is what I want it to be. The Bible mm -hmm. says the mother was strong. Mm -hmm. If the mother is not strong, she will not be able to push. Mother is pushing. Baby is moving fast. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Wives are That's slow right. down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody Amen. has to be slow down. Mm -hmm. Somebody must be slow down. Mm -hmm. You will still pray tonight and say, Father, I receive for me. Me, I am the bearer of this yeah, destiny. I receive for me unbelievable strength no. to engage in prayer and free warfare, which will distinguish my children from the crowd in the name of Jesus. For my children to get um, this future that is glorious, I receive for me strength to travel, strength to travel, strength to travel. As the one who is pushing, I receive for me strength to travel in the name of Jesus. I receive for me, strength to travel in the name of Jesus. I return for me, strength to travel in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray for your children that they too will have speed. Amen. Your children cannot move slowly. Amen. They cannot move slowly. Amen. So you will decree, as I receive vigor and strength to push, I receive speed for my children. As I birth them, they will run with speed. As I birth them, as I birth their destiny, they will run with speed. As I birth their destiny, they will run with speed. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration. As I birth you, my children, you will run with speed. As I birth your destiny prayer, you will run with speed. In in the name we have prayed. Amen. Sisters and brothers, Exodus 1.22. Mm. If you're not familiar with that Exodus, you need to go back and read it. Mm. Everything we need is in the scriptures. Hey, you know I tell you, women who follow me, they, uh, somebody says hey, it is one Baba somewhere. I say, look, Baba has his style. I have my style. Mm -hmm. Baba can draw from what he knows on his tablet. What mm -hmm. I draw from the word of God, let me see the Baba that will stand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other day I was telling women, a strange woman is, is fighting your home. Go and go and follow, read one of these videos I share. Only with two verses of scripture, I will mm -hmm. dismember you. Mm -hmm. You say you are a strange woman. Wait mm -hmm. until you meet me. I'm a strange wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm a strange. I would dismember you fully mm -hmm. with the scripture. Mm -hmm. You are carrying the uh, other. Somebody is carrying your husband's name. They are going to cook tall chocolate and suya for your husband, and you are watching because you don't know the word of God. Mm -hmm. You don't know scriptures. Mm -hmm. Go and find that video on TP, the Precious US channel. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I call this. Angels landing something. Go and find it. I did it in the past two weeks. You look, fire born, fire born and tear into pieces. Any strange yeah. woman, it's a strange mm -hmm. woman. I'm a strange wife. Yeah. Let me just read that with you. Mm -hmm. Exodus 122. The Bible says that the Nile became a burial ground for the Hebrew boys mm -hmm. who were born in the time of Moses. This, this place, because at that time, when children are born, and they kill them, they throw them in the Nile, they bury them near the Nile. Mm. That Nile became a burial ground, mm. but that same Nile held Moses. Mm. That same Nile held Moses, mm. cuddled him until, and yes, the, the video is called Angels Giving, Delivering Hot Slap. That is on my channel, that precious jewel on YouTube. It was a very funny one. But on the side, Exodus 122, mm. see Nile, Nile 
actually carried the dead bodies of the boys that were born in Moses' time. Mm. But now, the same Nile held Moses' basket mm. until his deliverance came. Mm. You would decree and say, my children, mm. because I have ordered peace for you today, whatever mm. kills children will not kill you. Mm. Whatever mm. kills children will not trouble you. Mm. Because mm. I have placed you upon the altar of peace tonight. Mm. Regarding mm. you, my son, mm. what is mm. wasting mm. many mm. will not waste you. Mm. What is Wasting many who will not waste you. What is troubling many who will not trouble you. My my children, I declare, I declare regarding you, my daughter. In the name of Jesus, whatever is wasting many who will not waste you. Whatever is distressing many who will not distress you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The Bible says that when Moses' mother gave birth to him, mm. Moses realized that he was a different child. Mm -hmm. The mother realized that he was a different child. Mother's listening to me and father's listening to me. Until you see what your child is, mm -hmm. they will be wasted. Mm -hmm. You need to see what they are. The Bible says that Moses' mother saw that this child was different. So mm -hmm. she hid him. Amen, that's right. And mm -hmm. she hid him for three months. Mother's. How easy is it for you to hide a baby for three months? Yeah, yeah, what? what do you think Moses' mother did every mm. time Moses was crying? Mm. What do you think she did for three months? She did not mind to die. Mm. How passionate are you about your children's future? Mm. Some of you expose your children to people anyhow. Mm. Uncles are coming. Aunties are coming. They put hand on your children anyhow. You share their report card anyhow. You are even talking to them anyhow about their dreams and vision. Your child says, I want to be a doctor. You tell them, he wants to be a doctor. Hey. If he wants to be an engineer, ah! Mm -hmm. The Bible mm -hmm. says, the Bible says, Moses' mother, he did, mm -hmm. he did. Mm -hmm. Are you hiding your children? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you hiding your children? Mm -hmm. You think every one of your siblings are okay with your children's purpose? Mm -hmm. your uncle, their uncles and aunties. Mm -hmm. You tell them everything. You are giving updates. You are giving mm -hmm. updates. You are not hiding your children. You will pray and say, Father, Help me to man the gates of my children's peaceful journey through life. Help me to man the gates of my children's journey through life. Help me to man the gates of my children's journey through life. Help me to man the gates of my children's journey through life. In the name of Jesus, I demand to die. My children, I man the gates of your destiny. I man the gates of your destiny. I man the gates of your destiny. Not allowing access. Not allowing contamination. Not allowing access. Not allowing contamination. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration tonight, my children. I am at the gates of your destiny. I am at the gates of your destiny. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please, please keep me in check when it's almost time. Please keep me in check. Okay. Exodus chapter 2, verse 1. It says, at this time. The beginning says, at this time. Mm. Men and brethren, what is happening in the world at this time? Mm. What is happening? Mm. Children are losing identity. Mm. They don't know whether they are male or female. Mm. They don't know. They don't know. Mm. Your 14 year old thinks that it is okay for them and they just want to get out of the house and have children at mm. this time in the world. Mm. They think you don't know anything as a parent at this mm. time in the mm. world. Mm. 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 You are going to pray. For your mm. children to have a glorious future, mm. for them to have a peaceful passage. Mm. I was explaining something to my daughter today. I said, girl, I see them on a daily basis. They are confused. Mm. They want to end their own life. Mm. Why? They have stepped out of the ordinance that God created. Mm. Mm. Male and female created them. Yes, mm. Once they step out of that ordinance, Confusion oh. are setting into their genes. Mm. They cannot be okay. Mm. Mm. They cannot be okay. If they like, let them give them 56 different types of antidepressants and, and anxiety mm. medication. They cannot be okay. Mm. Why? Right. They have stepped out of the ordinance that God created. Mm. Mm. So you are going to pray. 
you will say my children. Uh, Even though many children are being confused in life as we speak, you shall be preserved in peace. 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 In the name of Jesus, I do pray tonight regarding you, my children. You will not be confused about who God made you to be. You will not be confused about your identity. You will not be confused about where you're going in you will not be confused about your purpose in my life. You will not be confused about your generation. You will not be confused about your career. You will not be confused about your family and your purpose. You will not be confused, my children. So I declare in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Many children are confused about the essence of life. They don't get it anymore. A child will tell you, I don't feel like being here. Hmm. Who does he know? Hmm. What does she know about dying, about death? Hmm. What do they know? Hmm. You're just a child born yesterday. Hmm. Say, I don't feel like being here. I feel hmm. for them. Hmm. I feel for them. Hmm. But you're going to pray. Yeah. You're going to decree tonight and say, my daughter, my son, even though the hearts of children are filled with doubt about the essence of living, mm. your heart shall be preserved peacefully. Amen. Your heart shall be preserved peacefully. Amen. Your heart shall be preserved peacefully. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I decree, Amen. regarding you, my son, regarding you, my daughter, so that your future can be glorious. Your heart shall be preserved. Your mind shall be preserved. Your soul shall be preserved. Your opinion shall be preserved. Your impression shall be preserved. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. You know what I love about the story of, of Moses and Pharaoh's daughter? The fact that Pharaoh's daughter said, this is the Hebrew child. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a beautiful look. You need to enjoy reading Bible. Mm. Hey, some people are reading Bible because mm. their pastor said they must read, or because they will teach Bible study tomorrow. Waste mm. of time. Read mm. it as a noble. Enjoy mm. every comma full store. The mm. Bible says, Pharaoh's daughter said, This mm. is an Hebrew child. Mm. So she opened her eyes, Koro Koro, to help Moses. That's mm. right. There was no confusion. Yes, she did not drink her bowl. She was not under in, uh, intoxication. She said, this is an Hebrew child. Mm. This one I'm about to help. I know mm. that I'm not allowed to help him, but I will help him. Yes. Hmm. But I will help him. You will say, Father, even though many people are selfish and tended only to their own, yes. men and women will put their lives at risk Amen. to ensure my children have a peaceful passage. Amen. I declare tonight, even though the world is becoming selfish, even though people are tended only to themselves, from tonight I decree, my children, men and women, world over, who put themselves at risk, who put their lives at risk, just to ask assist you, just to help you, just to show you the way, just to encourage you, just to protect you, just to perfect you. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I remember when I had my, my daughter, you know, anytime she cried, even if it's in the middle of the night, my son will wake up, leave his room, come to our bedroom and say, mom, She's crying. Mm. Who was the owner of child? Who was the one waking up at night? <laughs> but do you know what? When God wants to save a destiny, mm. he puts people in charge who will not be comfortable at rest until they have helped you. Mm. Mm. That's right. Exodus chapter 2 verse 6, New Living Translation says, when the princess opened it, she saw the baby. The little uh -huh. boy was crying. Mm. Moses knew how to cry at the right time. Mm. All the while, Moses was inside his mother's house. He did not cry anyhow. Why? <laughs> his helpers were not nearby. Mm. Yes, ma'am. But look, the minute 
they opened the whatever they used to cover him. Mm. And Moses' eyeball came eyeball to eyeball mm. with Pharaoh's daughter. Moses mm. knew this is the time to yell. Yeah. <laughs> because the person that will help me is here. Yes, Your yes, children yes. must not cry before the people who cannot help them. Yes, if yes, you yes, cry yes. before the people who cannot help you, it only yes, brings yes. the great and weight of energy. That's right. Mm. That's right. Yes, the little boy cried. Mm. The, the, the fair, fellows that are saying, oh, 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 this must be one of the Hebrew boys. Oh, this must be Hebrew child. This must be Hebrew child. You will pray tonight and say, my children, as you walk, as you knock the doors of life, you will only knock the right door. You will only knock on the right door. You will not be wasted. Your words will not be wasted. Your efforts will not be wasted. Some children will cry anyhow. They will cry and wake the neighbors up. No, Moses reserved his cry for the right time. Moses reserved his cry for the right time. My children, I declare, for you to have a glorious feature. You will ask for help at the right time, from the right people, at the right place, at the right time, at the right opportunity. This is my declaration. In the name of Jesus, my children, you will not walk on the wrong door. You will not ask the wrong person. You will not ask at the wrong time. You will activate help at the wrong time. You will activate help when the Lord has ordained that. You will activate help when the Lord has chosen. You will activate help with the right people. You will activate people are hostile. Mm-hmm. They, look, my son shared something with me. And it was about two, three years ago. He said to me, he said, Mom, I was walking home and two boys approached me. One was walking close to me and the other one was at the back and they offered me and they said, would you like to buy this? They offered my son drugs on the streets. On the streets, my son said, I looked at them and I said, no, thank you. Hmm. And just as I started to walk quickly, a man approached me. It Hmm. was a Caucasian man who approached my son Hmm. and said, hello. My son said, I said, hello, and he asked, are you okay? Mm. That man saw what was happening mm. and immediately came in to rescue my son. Mm. I did not know. Mm. I did not know it from anywhere. My son said, he came and he said, are you okay? Mm. Are, are you all right? Did they, did they say anything to you? Did they do anything to you? Look, I, I told my son, I said, look, for you care. That may not even be an Englishman. That might be an angel. Mm. I said, I have positioned them at mm. different parts yes, of your ma. journey in life. Yes, ma. They will not fail. Mm. They will rescue you. He mm. said, the man came and said to me, are you, are you all right? Mm. Are you okay? Mm. He said, yes. I told him I was all right. And he asked me, do you have long to go before you get home? Mm. Mm. He said, no, no, sir. No, sir. No, not too far to walk. Mm. Not too far to walk. Mm. My dear brothers and sisters, Moses got the timing right. Even mm. though people are hostile to what and whom they do not know, or who is exactly not like them. Mm. Listen to this next prayer point. Even though people are hostile Mm. to what they do not know, Mm. and people who do not look like them, Mm. your face, my children, Mm. your voice will command help. Your face, your voice will command help. Even though people are reluctant. Look, Pharaoh's daughter, what business did she have? Mm. Moses did not look like them. It was clear Moses was, was, you know, a child of a slave. But the Bible says, Pharaoh's daughter looked at her. I looked at him and said, oh, I must help this one. You will decree and say, my children, even though people do not know you, even though you do not look like them, your face, your voice will command help. It will command favorable help. It will command help. It will command favorable help. In the name of Jesus, your face will command help. Your face will command help. Your voice will activate help. In the name of Jesus, people who did not want to help people, when they hear you speak, when they hear your voice, you will command help. You will command help. You will in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We're still going to pray. 
We're still going to dwell a bit upon that. It's not only a face and a name that must command help. Mm. Documents must command help. Yes, mm. Your presence must command help. Yes, Your presence must command help. Mm. I have been to many places. You don't even want to hear my story. They will just pick me out of everybody. I remember one day I was coming from the U.S. And as I sat there thinking, oh, uh, premium economy. How am I going to do on this flight? Oh, it's 12 hours. I need to lie down flat. Mm-hmm. I just sat down there thinking about my life. Mm-hmm. When I heard Omobola um, Jeffries, Omobola hmm. um, Jeffries, please identify yourself to the ground star. Omobola um, Jeffries. I said, God, is this what I thought it is? <laughs> is this another one of what I thought it is? I got there with my passport. They say, are you, are you Dr. Mabola Jeffries? I said, yes, I am. Say, can I have your boarding pass and your ticket? I gave it to them. Whether they're going to flush it, only God knew. And then they gave me back my boarding pass and my passport. And I noticed that my seat had changed from number 14 to number two. Whatever mm-hmm. happened within that junction is none of my business. That's it's not of me to ask, mm-hmm. why did you change? Who mm-hmm. did you change? Who sent you? Do I care mm-hmm. who sent you? Do I care who sent you? Mm-hmm. They are going to pray and say, my children, to give you a peaceful passage, I receive for you immediate help. It will be drawn to your name. It will be drawn to your face. It will be drawn to your presence. It will be drawn to your document in the name of Jesus and receive for you immediate help. It will be drawn to your name. It will be drawn to your face. It will be drawn to your presence. It will be drawn to your document. Wherever your name is mentioned in the name of Jesus, you're my children. I speak tonight. Immediate help. Immediate help. Immediate help. Immediate help. Immediate help. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We have three more prayer points before I finish. Amen. Three more prayer points. There is hostility around the world. Amen. Everywhere. Amen. Even amongst people of the same color, Amen. there is hostility. People don't like people anymore. Amen. The Bible says the love of many will work good. It's not only love towards God, even love towards other human beings. It's working good. Can you see how people kill people? Anyhow. Mm-hmm. You are going to pray and say, even though the hostility of the world is universal mm-hmm. to all everybody around you, my children, I decree from tonight, God mm-hmm. will create a subtle way of easy passage for Amen. you, peaceful escape Amen. in the name of Jesus. Even Amen. though there is hostility Amen. all around the world, my children, I decree the Lord will create for you a subtle peaceful passage, a subtle peaceful passage, a subtle peaceful passage in the name of Jesus. Maybe by the time they realize that what is happening, you would have escaped that, you would have gone, you would have gone through. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Sisters and brothers, can you imagine the look on Pharaoh's face when Pharaoh's daughter came home and said, Dad, I brought a Hebrew boy. Hmm. (laughs) You must be like, what? Say, Dad, I brought a Hebrew boy home. I'm sure the king will be like, ah, are you, are you? And then the daughter will be like, dad, now only one. Mm. <laughs> one of them. Mm. I mean, not many. Can mm. I just keep this one? Mm. Can I keep just this one? Mm. You are going to pray and say, father, when they are distributing evil, mm. my son will be just an exception. Amen. When they are distributing calamity, my daughter will be just an exception. In the name of Jesus, it will be a lot. When they are counting the casualty, they will be an exception. Instead of my womb, when they are counting those that are wasted, they will be an exception. It will be the seed of my womb. This is my declaration, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, when many are crying, when they are saying it is not enough, when they are saying this, this, this nation is hard, when they are saying this exam is difficult, when they are saying progress is bad, there will be an exception. It will be the son of my womb. It will be the son of my womb. In the name of Jesus, when many are saying life is hard, life is tough, for, there will be an exception. It will be the son of my womb. It will be the daughter of my womb. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration tonight. In Jesus' name, 
we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I've got five minutes. <laughs> My sisters, those of you who know me, you know there is something I don't like doing. I don't beg. Mm. I don't beg. Because let me tell you, once you start to beg, you are the mercy of the people you are begging. Mm. Did you notice? Go and read your Bible. Moses' mother did, did not beg Pharaoh's daughter for help. Mm. 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 Yes. Never. There was nothing mm. like, please help me. Some yes. of us are used to begging. Mm. Little opportunity. Internet gave people. People don't know you. will just slide into your inbox. Please help me. Mm. Please help me. Mm. Help me. As long as you are asking man for help, God will never mm. help you. He mm. will be looking at you from a distance. Mm. People are resorted. Facebook inbox. Instagram inbox. Help mm. me. Mm. Just look at that woman. This woman gave birth to a child. The king of the land said the child must die. Mm. The woman did not beg. The woman did not beg. That woman did not beg. Mm. She didn't say, I know, I know you are the old daughter of the whatever. No, she did not beg. Yes, ma'am. She mm. didn't beg. Stop begging. Mm. Yes, ma'am. I don't know whose word is that. Stop mm. begging. Your mm. children don't have coffees. Stop begging. Mm. Stop Amen. begging. Prepare and wait. Yes. Mm. Prepare yourself and wait. And say, God, Moses' mother made a basket and took it to Na. Mm. What should I make ready? Ah, mm. thank you, Lord. What should I make ready? Mm. Some people are looking for what they need at all costs. It should never become like that, that you're desperate. Mm. Then they will tell you, I can pray for you, solution will come. Just give me 10,000 naira. You need 12,000 naira for your children's school fees. The false prophet collects 10. You are back to two. Mm. Hey, you will pray and say, Father, even though many will be looking to get peace at all costs, mm. my children, your peace will come without a plea. Amen. Amen. Your peace will come without a plea. Amen. Your peace will come Amen. without Amen. trouble. Even regarding me, as I look for help, regarding my children, it will come without a plea. My help will come from above. My help will come from God. My help will come from above. My help will come from God. In the name of Jesus, I will not look to anybody. I will not look to anybody. I will not look to anybody because my help is from Him. I decree it now. In the name of Jesus. My children, you will not beg before you get allocated. 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 In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Okay. I said, I know I said three prayer points. Two more, and we will finish. Did you notice, my dear sisters and brothers? <laughs> hey, whatever God gives, He gives freely. Whatever God gives, he gives freely. Mm. Some people will fight and battle and before they get to where they are going, they have many scars. Mm. My contract with God is that my children will get to where they are going without scars. Amen. Amen. You know, it's nice when people come and give testimony. I wrote the exam 45 times. Praise God with me, I pass. We won't shout hallelujah, but you could have passed the first time. Mm. You could have passed the first time. Why cry 44 times? Mm. The people who started with you have moved on. You will mm. decree and say, my children, mm. as you claim your territories in life, mm. it will be without preceding wars. Mm. It will be without preceding wars. Mm. It will be without preceding struggle. Mm. It will be without preceding disappointment. Mm. In the name of Jesus, when the time shall come for you to enter primary school, to enter secondary school, to enter university, to get married, to have children, it will be without preceding wars. In the name of Jesus, all your ground shall be cleaned. You shall claim them with ease. You shall claim them with ease. You shall claim them with ease. In the name of Jesus, this is my declaration. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Moses needed no introduction. Somebody paid the price for his peace of mind. Mm. That person carried Moses took him to the palace, introduced him to the palace, and then they released him back to his mother so that his mother is now earning salary for taking care of her own son. Mm. Mm. That's right. The food, the clothes that Moses wore for his life, free whilst he was under Pharaoh's roof, mm. even though he was in the care of his mother. You are mm. going to pray and say, Father, introduce my children mm. at every platform 
Introduce them. Introduce my children. This is the last prayer point. Say, Father, introduce my children. Every door they knock, introduce them before they arrive. Every door they knock, introduce them. For ease of access, introduce them. For help, introduce them. For protection, introduce them. For preservation, introduce them. Father, I pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, introduce my children. Every platform that they will accept in their life. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Immortal God, we're grateful for the answers to these prayers. Amen. We're grateful for the opportunity we have to commit our children's destinies to you. Amen. We are grateful, Lord, because you have heard us. We are just workmen with you in the path of this children, children's Amen. destiny. We have done our part tonight. Amen. And we know that this prayer has gone ahead of our children Amen. into their future. We Amen. thank you, Father Lord, for in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I am so grateful. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mama. Everybody, could we just appreciate our dear mommy and just thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Just, you know, type something in the comment section. You know, let's just appreciate you, Mama. Thank you so much, Mama. We appreciate you. I'll just ask the pastor to just um pray. She has watered us, and we want to, you know, just pray for our mommy as well to just God to just water her. Father, we thank you for. Your daughter, you've used to speak over our life. Father, we pray that she will be a first partaker of all her blessing upon us. Amen. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. Father, the work in her hand shall never dry. Amen. Instead, she will receive anointing and grace for more exploit. Amen. This shall be the least we will hear of her. Amen. Father, oh God, Lord, according to the word you've given unto her, she will possess territory. Amen. You will enlarge her. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, when if any time she declare a word, there shall be fruitfulness, Amen. there shall be performance according to her words tonight. May testimony rises upon Amen. every home. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, oh God, we thank you for your daughter. Thank continue you. to bless her, continue to bless her home, Amen. continue to protect her, Amen. and let your grace overflow in her life. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, Amen. and amen. Amen. God bless you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone that um, have attended today. Um, I know a lot um, of people have attended, obviously, through um, Dr. Jeffries. Thank you so much for joining in. And also all um, our parishes um, represented here from Edinburgh, our area. We want to honor and appreciate all our pastors and are here. We celebrate you. Every mother, every father that have stood in the place of prayer for your children tonight, we know that God himself will reward you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, just quickly, we're going to have the next um, the next um, prayer um, will be in January. We're starting again in January, praying right up till November. And it will be in um, communion, prayer with Holy Communion. And we'll be having Apostle Eric Israel Okere that will be with us. Um, we, we, the Lord is determining our steps for 2022. It's going to be on the 1st of January, so you do not want to miss. Um, I will encourage you all to um, please join in. Um, same time, 5 p.m. UK time. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you all. Um, there's nothing much I need to add on to whatever blessings that we've received tonight. I pray that we all, we go in this might of prayer, in the strength of prayer and keep interceding for our, our children mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Please follow my mommy. I've claimed her. Amen. <laughs> Please follow thy precious jewel um, on Instagram, on, on Facebook, on um, YouTube. Um, mommy does um, prayer meeting. Um, it does regular prayer meeting. I mean, you will be blessed. 
and um, monthly when possessing the, the month as well she does prayer meeting follow her and and I'm, i know your life will not remain the same again in the name of jesus thank you so much ma once again i appreciate you i celebrate the grace of god upon your life and god bless you ma pastor would you um close for us father we thank you for what you've done this evening we appreciate you mm -hmm. thank you for the answers to this prayer because mm -hmm. you we before we pray we come with faith that there is a god that he is mm -hmm. father we thank you for you've heard us yeah. thank you for the testimonies that are better this evening mm -hmm. thank you for our children thank you for their glorious future mm -hmm. thank you oh god for the journey of life mm -hmm. the peace of god mm -hmm. we speak for them mm -hmm. lord we thank you for every home mm -hmm. we thank you oh god for the answer even the ones that we have not asked for mm -hmm. father we thank you because you've already answered us mm -hmm. lord we appreciate you we give you all praise mm -hmm. as we go tonight your presence continue to go with us Amen. we pray mm -hmm. that you will strengthen us to tar always tarry mm -hmm. in your presence interceding mm -hmm. for our seeds mm -hmm. father we give you all praise mm -hmm. for in jesus name we have prayed amen and amen. amen god bless you so much god everyone bless you and thank you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the, the love, love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of God forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a lovely evening. God See bless you. Next you. Time. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. God bless you.